Hello, welcome to our series of weekly devotionals where we take a look at one of the lectionary texts for the upcoming week and offer some thoughts for meditation, reflection, prayer, uh, and the like. Uh, This week we are looking at, and we've reached the midweek part of our look at Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, some verses in chapter 2. You know, one of my favorite shows is a show on Amazon Prime called The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And it tells the story uh, set in the late 50s and 60s of a fictional uh, female comedian named Mrs. Maisel. And she sort of stumbles accidentally upon her gift for comedy at a late night comedy club and then begins trying to pursue it a little bit more professionally. And she enjoys a lot of early success. Uh, But there's one episode, uh, and I forget which season it's in, um, probably in the first season, but anyway, uh, an episode where she goes to Las Vegas to do a show and she bombs spectacularly. And it's sort of her first experience with not going over so well. And she struggles kind of dealing with, uh, with how to cope with that. And of course, her manager says, this happens to everybody. Every comedian bombs at some point or another. I was thinking about that episode uh, in reading in reading Paul because uh, Paul bombed spectacularly often in his preaching uh, the gospel and 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 sharing the gospel with others. His his message, as we noted earlier, uh, that he was uh, often sent in prison, uh, beaten publicly. Um, driven out of synagogues, his message was not uh, often well received. Uh, But he writes, For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. And Paul, I think, uh, considers himself in a, a good line of, of folks whose message was not well received. Uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, of course, his, uh, his message led to the cross. Um, the prophets of old in the Hebrew Bible, what we call the Old Testament, often their messages uh, were not well received by those hearing them. And uh, for Paul... He asserts that his message is not an earthly, worldly message, but it's it's a message of the gospel, which is often contrary uh, to the message that we hear in the world around us. And, uh, you know, I think as Christians, we're called to always offer sort of an alternative witness to the message uh, that the world offers. And so, you know, maybe... Um, Maybe if we're not being well received by the world, maybe that means we're doing something right because we're being true, uh, true to the gospel and true to God. You know, I say that with my kids. Usually if my kids are mad at me, that means I'm, I know I'm being a good parent <laughs> because I'm, I'm doing the right thing, which they're not often happy with. But uh, I'm joking, of course. But, but I think that is true that, you know, Staying true to the gospel is what is what counts, and and that may or may not always be well received, uh, especially by those who are really kind of entangled with the message of, of the world around us. Um, I remember hearing a story about Abraham Lincoln when he when he uh, spoke the Gettysburg Address. Um, nowadays, we of course consider that one of the greatest speeches in American history, but at the time, um, he spoke for only two and a half minutes or so, and uh, his speech was not well received by the audience hearing it, and he confided to a to an advisor, to a confidant of his, that he thought the speech bombed. He thought it, it went over like a lead balloon, but of course, uh, it has stood the test of time and become, you know, one of the, the fixtures, like I said, in American history, and I think that's because it, it, it conveys words of truth. It conveys words uh, of righteousness and and it stands those kinds of things stand the test of time and so you know if we're preaching if we're speaking what is what is true what is the gospel message uh, I think that uh, 
regardless of how it is received by those around us, we are holding true to to what we are called to do as Christians, and and the gospel indeed uh, does stand the test of time. So, uh, have the courage, preach the gospel. Amen.